A relationship that many have been unsure about lately is Justin and Hailey Bieber. Are they really right for each other or were there things that we're missing? Hey guys, I'm your host Lauren and today we're going to be counting down the top 10 toxic moments from Justin and Hailey's relationship. Let's get into it. Number 10 Rebound Over the years, some Justin and Selena fans have believed that Hailey has actually been a rebound this whole time. Considering the two got engaged just months after the official split from Selena, it's pretty weird timing, with some even believing there could have been overlap between the relationships. In March of 2018, a source came forward and said they weren't getting along and decided to take a break. It doesn't seem like a big deal and they'll probably be fine again soon. Did Justin take this break a little more seriously than Selena, considering by June of the same year he was back with Haley. A source close to Justin claims that he continued to tell Selena I love you right up until the day he got married, maybe hoping for another chance with his ex. Fans were taking to their social media to explain their theories of what they think is going on between the couple. After Haley posted a photo for Justin's 29th birthday, saying words couldn't possibly sum up all that you embody. One user commented, he looks like he's being held hostage. Sometimes divorce is the best solution and she's definitely a rebound. When Selena and Justin were in their on again, off again, phase, fan theories came out that Haley was being used just to make Selena jealous during the off phase of the relationship. In December 2017, a source close to Justin told TMZ that while getting back with Selena, he reached out to Haley to apologize for mistreating her in the past, saying this contact was purely in the spirit of living more openly and honestly within the church. But according to the source, this caused Selena to freak out, most likely making this quick marriage to the model that much more painful. Number 9. The Narcotic Problems Justin Bieber's illegal narcotic problem really did take its toll on the marriage. Justin had a bit of a reputation for interesting behavior and having pretty serious narcotic problems in the past few years. Even going on to reveal how his security guards would be forced to check his pulse at night to make sure he was okay. He opened up to GQ in an interview and said, It was like I had all the success and it was like I'm sad and I'm still in pain and I have all these unresolved issues. Going on to say, So for me it was a numbing agent to just continue to get through. He also went on to explain his struggles with his mental health as well. He said, I was also navigating a lot of emotional terrain, which had a lot to do with it. Though he did admit that his marriage was a positive force during this, but he agreed it was not as easy as others have made it seem. He shared, the first year of marriage was really tough, because there was a lot going back to the trauma stuff. But this whole ordeal was definitely tough on his new wife, who ended up turning to her mom when she was at her breaking point. During an episode of In the Good Faith, the podcast, Haley revealed how it was her mom who persuaded her to stay with Justin. She shared at the time saying, I remember I called her a few different times. One particular time when we were in Brooklyn and I was calling her, I was crying and I was like, I can't do it. There's no way I'm going to be able to do this if it's going to be like this forever. She went on to say when discussing her mom's response, she was so calm and she was like, it's going to pass and you're going to be fine. He's going to be healthy. Though she did end up staying with Justin and luckily has reportedly been getting better and overcoming some of his mental health issues, it has left some questioning though if the toll it took on Haley was just a little too much for the long term. Number 8. The Selena Tattoos This is a pretty crazy one. Personally, I'd find it pretty tough if my significant other had his ex's tattoos face on their arm. And I can only imagine that Haley thinks about it quite a bit. During his relationship with Selena, Justin decided to really go for it and get a tattoo of her face on his arm, which was inspired by a photo shoot she did. He even went on further with it and added wings, making Selena look like an angel. Many fans figured that after he married Haley, he would get this covered up or just the whole thing removed, but it just didn't seem to happen. When asked about his tattoos, he revealed he doesn't regret any of them, saying, Over a hundred hours of hard work on my body and I wouldn't take back a single one. I absolutely love art and I've made my body a canvas and it's so much fun. While he claims he doesn't regret a single one, he has admitted to trying to conceal the Selena tattoo with some shading. But to many fans, it appears to look the exact same. Not only that, but with the ongoing drama between his wife and his ex, you would think that he'd be a little bit more careful about this tribute to Selena. Bieber fans began speculating about Justin's motives after he posted photos from his birthday on Instagram. He shared photos on his Instagram wearing a gray sweater with one sleeve rolled up, showing off the Selena angel tattoo. Some other fans also believe that aside from this tattoo on his arm, the singer also has one on his neck, which could also be dedicated to Selena. The tattoo is of a rose, which 
many claim to see a faint S in. Roses are also supposedly Selena's favorite flower. Definitely a little strange considering he's been married now for four years. Number seven, Selena obsessed. From matching tattoos, matching outfits, and matching interviews, it's clear to fans that Haley is definitely a little too obsessed with Selena. This is definitely bizarre considering this is her husband's ex, and it leaves many to wonder what does Justin think about this? The main one that really threw fans overboard was the pretty similar cooking shows. Selena Gomez has a show on HBO Max called Selena and Chef since 2020. Haley's also recently come out with a cooking show of her own as part of a YouTube series called What's in My Kitchen. Viewers almost immediately started noticing the similarities between these two shows. One user showed some clips of shows and the similarities between them on TikTok, with the side-by-side -side clips showing how both stars have invited their grandma onto the show to make their favorite dishes. Many fans believe this is no coincidence at all, and Haley is just trying to be exactly like Selena, even down to the cooking show. A Twitter user posted, Haley really needs to stop copying Selena and should focus on herself. But oddly enough, it gets even more incriminating. Haley might also be copying what Selena says. In the premiere episode of Selena and Chef, Selena emphasizes how the show is not being filmed on a set and that this is her actual home and her actual kitchen. Some other TikTok users pointed out how Haley may even be stealing her expressions. In one episode of the show, Selena showed viewers her okie dokie jar, explaining how she has to pay every time she uses this phrase. She said in the episode, we have an okie dokie jar. They said that word is over, so every time I use it, I have to put a dollar in there. So you can tell I've said it quite a few times. Oddly enough, Haley has also started using this expression too while on her cooking show. This left fans to believe this is just another case of copying. Some TikTok users have even begun commenting okie dokie on all of Haley's social media platforms. Number six, talking to his ex. Were Justin and Selena in contact more recently than we originally thought? No one wants their partner to be talking to their ex, and it just looks like it might be another red flag in their relationship. Allegedly, during lockdown in 2020, Justin decided to reach out to Selena. Sources said at the time, Selena had completely moved on, but Justin was still holding on, wanting to be friends. A source told The Sun, Selena has kept her distance from Justin, but he recently started contacting her again. He doesn't believe he should be cut off from those people he was closest to in his life and doesn't believe that talking is cheating. The source went on to add, he loves Haley dearly, but does complain about her sometimes, and Selena says it's sad. He feels that she is just a little too obsessed with religion sometimes, basically feels that she is too far gone. The insider revealed that even though Justin is religious himself, he reportedly believes Haley needs to take a step back from it all. The same source told the media, Selena understands Justin never stopped loving her and also realizes lockdown has been tough, and she isn't surprised that he's been calling. Fans of the two are convinced that Justin has been continually keeping tabs on his ex, especially when Selena's cooking show was seen on Justin's browsing list on his TV in the background of an Instagram story. These allegations have never been proven, but many fans believe that this is absolutely something that Justin would do. Number five, the Vanity Fair party. Justin left Haley pretty high and dry on the red carpet at this Vanity Fair party and left his wife to pose alone, even though she was facing some pretty extreme backlash for the Selena drama. Not only that, but many celebrities kept getting in her shots, making it all look pretty uncomfortable. One TikTok user commented, and even after all that, there was barely any flash. Another added, the way the paparazzi was taking pictures of the people walking behind her instead of taking photos of her. Not only that, but reportedly when Justin did meet her at the party, he appeared to look tormented. An insider said, Justin did not look well. He was hunched over and wearing a blanket, going on to claim that he looked tormented and just seemed to be acting weird. Could this be a sign of more things to come? Number four, not an easy marriage. Both Haley and Justin have been open to the struggles of married life, but how bad has it really been? Justin shared in the past, it's a journey. I remember when I first got married, I hit a little bit of an emotional breakdown because I thought marriage was gonna fix all my problems and it didn't. He also explained saying, the first year of marriage was really tough. There was a lack of trust. Not only has Justin spoken about these things, but Haley has gone into it a little bit as well. During an interview, she talked about the first year of married life and said, in the beginning, especially for the first six or seven months of being married, I was ridden with guilt. I wish I hadn't done this. She went on to say, We all have shame and guilt for things we've done, but it doesn't have to define who we are, and it doesn't have to define me and my relationship. She also said this in regards to finding some struggles and being a good girl and goody two shoes type in her relationship, later explaining how this is just not realistic for her. She even went on to say, It's definitely hard sometimes. I, I think we both annoy each other a lot sometimes. Number three, the mother son relationship. A few fans on Twitter have begun accusing Justin and Haley of having sort of a mother son relationship when Haley cares for Justin at times. Kind of like a mother. The recent time that really got TikTok and Twitter users talking was when the clip emerged of Haley comforting Justin at this year's coach.
Coachella. Though many thought this moment was pretty sweet, others were thinking that Justin was getting upset and just didn't want to be there. One fan speculated, he doesn't want to be there, you can tell he has very bad anxiety being at places like this for too long. Another questioned about their relationship saying, they have a mother and son relationship. I feel so bad for Haley. she deserves better. Another user commented, it must be exhausting for her to take on his emotional needs so constantly. Number 2 We have Justin's music. Haley and Justin got married in 2018, but it didn't stop fans from trying to connect him back to Selena. So when Justin released some new music in 2021, social media users began thinking that these songs were actually about his ex, especially the songs Ghost and Anyone. Ghost really caught the attention of fans though, as it seems it's about a longing for someone romantically that he is no longer with, aka Selena. One fan wrote, Listen, I'm not a Jelena shipper, and I'm not even going to throw Selena into everything involving Justin, because at the end of the day, they're two separate people living two separate lives. But Ghost screamed Selena. Another Twitter user added, I want to know that if I can't be close to you, I'll settle for the ghost of you. You're telling me Justin didn't write Ghost about Selena. Please. Though when asked about the song's inspiration, Justin denied that it was about Selena and said it's actually for the people who lost loved ones. There is a lot of people who have lost people from other things or just lost people general. Might not be from passing away, but have lost people that were in their life for a season and now that person isn't. Even with this explanation, fans continue to speculate that the ghost is actually Haley. Meaning since he can't be close to Selena, he'll have to settle for the ghost that is Haley. And finally at number 1 we have real love. Social media users have begun wondering the past few years if this relationship is actually legitimate or not. With some speculating that he's just in it for the visa to become a dual citizen. And with others thinking that she's just a rebound, is there something that we're missing here? In the past a few people have come forward with allegations that this relationship could be more just physical rather than emotional. When Justin made an inappropriate comment about Haley on social media, it left fans worrying. Haley was applauding her husband's recent video and wrote, "My jaw, it's on the Floor. To which she responded by saying, Your jaw is in other places too, let's be honest. Haley clearly hated this and wrote, Oh my god, please go to sleep. Fans quickly began commenting on this conversation, and one wrote, Justin makes a raunchy response to convince the world that he's happy. You know what they say about the couples that do this. Either way, bold mood to read a comment like that when you're at that level of fame. Well, that's all we have for you guys today. Let us know what you think about Justin and Haley's marriage. Are they really in love, or could there be something else going on behind the scenes? Let us know in the comments below, and we'll see you in the next one. Fun.